Hello everybody, welcome back to Slay the Spire. We're doing ascensions today with the Watcher on level 7. A bit of an easier time for us compared to the tens and low teens of the other characters. Remove a card, obtain a random common relic, obtain a curse, choose a rare card to obtain, lose your starting relic, obtain a random boss relic. Give me a curse and choose a rare card. Blasphemy, enter divinity, die next turn. Vault, take an extra turn after this one, end your turn, exhaust. Shuffle and expunger into your draw pile, exhaust. Um, well, Vault is really good if you can get Alpha for Alpha, Omega, Beta, whatever, but I can't count on that. So I think we take Blasphemy and just see if we can make that work. Let's go that way, that way seems great. So, triple damage. This would be 18. Can't kill anything with that. Do we draw cards? No. Okay. So, we start very simple. In Wrath, we're not getting attacked, so that's fine. Enter Wrath, retain, deal 9 damage, exit your stance, gain 7 block, empty or exit your stance. Give me an empty fist. What happens if this is upgraded? Retain. Ooh, okay. So we can hold that for the perfect moment. Gain the gold. Go shopping. At the end of your turn, shuffle an insight into your draw pile. Retain, draw two cards, exhaust. Uh, shuffle an expunger into your draw pile. Deal nine damage X times, where X is the number that we played on Conjure Blade. Lesson learned, deal ten damage. If fatal, upgrade a random card in your deck. I think we take that early when we're going to have best chances of killing stuff. And then we're going to take this path over here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. You can no longer become weakened. Alright, we're going to go around and rest because I got risky. Nine... 9, 18, 27, plus 18, 37, 43. Is that right? Let's triple check that. Triple your damage. 9, 18, 27. 6, 12, 18. 27, 37. 37, uh, it's 45. Okay. Good. Good. Scry 1, gain 2 block, deal 3 damage. Gain 3 block if you are in Wrath, gain additional Empty Fist. I'm going to skip those. Then boss fight, or elite fight rather. We have no AoE. So that's unfortunate. We are in calm. Deal nine damage, enter wrath. Deal 18 damage, exit our stance. So one's dead. We are going to take 10 damage. We're obviously not going to go into blasphemy while we don't have any big attacks or anything. Are we going to get through this fight at all? Is a great question. I think I need more regular attacks. Because right now we're just not 
got the damage output I want, you know? We're going to survive this. This will be the last attack we survive. Yeah, this was destined to fail from the offset. All right. Give me a fresh start. Enemies have one HP. We can get up to here on that left side. Yep, it's going to be the way. But look at all the free stuff we get. Gain seven block, gain six block shuffle, then insight into your draw pile. Deal seven damage for each enemy in combat. I don't know when this will be useful, but I'm still all about that experimentation. Give me gold. What do you upgrade to? Ten. Let's transform a basic strike. Three, two, one. Pressure points is not a bad one. If I can get more pressure points, I'd be happy. When you enter Wrath, draw two cards. Also interesting. Deal three damage three times. Enter Wrath. Shuffle this card into your draw pile. Interesting. I don't remember ever seeing that card. Whenever you enter Wrath, draw two. We'll be good for drawing stuff to play, but we might not have the energy to benefit from it. We would need cheaper ways to get into Wrath. I'm going to drop another basic strike and try and make this pressure points thing work. That's what I'm going to do. So let's make this bigger if we're going to be playing it every other turn. No additional pressure points. Gain eight block. The next attack you play costs zero. Not for two mana, I don't want it. So we still have two charges on Niao's Lament. We definitely want to go to the Elite. There's another pressure point. The next chests have two things in them. Then I'm going to go the way that gives me options. There's another pressure point. All right, this might work out. Don't need any of that. Which way? Let's go via... Oh, well, they both have two fireplaces. This is not ideal. All right, you're dead. I'm just going to get that going early. Good. Adorable um, sound design. Just going to block the damage, wait for other attacks to come back round. Eight and four makes twelve. Uh, 
this is awful. Six and eight. All right. We're going to take eight from the guy on the left. Bottled Miracle, add two Miracles to your hand. More pressure points. Grab some rest. Who did we fight already? I think it was the guy who rests for two turns at the start. Let's go big or... Go oh no, if it's... If it's hobgoblin gremlin knob and we've got all pressure points we are ruined so we're not going to go that way will this kill you 11 8 and 11 19 it will Lovely. Oh my god. Who are we fighting? You. I'm going to ditch that. Grab this. Smith here. More pressure points. No. The more defend. This couldn't be a worse opening hand if I tried. Fortunately, that works out okay. Now, these are not attacks. So we are going to take 10 damage, but then... As soon as the pressure points come back round, this guy is quite screwed. So we might have a build here. Liquid Memories. I would like Liquid Memories. Whenever a card is retained, reduce its cost by one. Whenever a card is created, upgrade it. Shuffle an expunger into your exhaust pile. We have any cards that retain already? No. I think these are all bad for us. You can no longer smith. Replaces pure water. At the start of each combat, add three miracles to your hand instead of one. Or busted crown. I'm going to take busted crown. Because we've got so many... Pressure points. I don't need to add more cards to the deck now, really. We can hit up a couple of shops. Seems fine to me. Right. Pressure points. Defend. Vigilance. We just want to see pressure points now. So you're going to take 8 twice when we play Pressure Points twice. Nice. Retain, enter Calm. I'm not interested in entering Calm because I'm not that interested in being in any particular stances. Whenever you change stances, not interested. Let's get rid of... Basic strike or bowling? I guess bowling ball is better than a basic strike. And I'm tempted by a strawberry or a potion belt, but a duplication potion is just too good not to grab. I should have grabbed the potion belt and that. Alright, I'm bad, but we persist. No.
Um, defend, defend, pressure points. Pressure points, pressure points, pressure points. One more pressure point and they are done for. Easy game. Who do we have here? Stabby man. Right, we're going to get hit for one, which is fine. Stacking pressure points is the priority. Because then we can do so much damage. Love to see it. No need to played if this is your only attack in your hand. Deal 40 damage. The only other attacks we have are Bowling Bash, Eruption, and Strike. For two energy, though, I think I would rather just play two pressure points. And I want to keep my deck thin so that it's pressure points that appears most often. Do I do it? Would it be absurd? He's doing it. I'm going to prioritize defending so that I can play it all. Ambrosia, enter divinity stance. Whenever you gain block, no. At the start of your turn, gain one mantra and a lantern. Receive five apparition. Not interested. Shop again. Oh, this is 125 now. Oh my god. <laughs> I shouldn't, should I? I'm going to. The only thing that can go wrong now is that I just get attacked too many times for not having defense enough in hand. Right. We still have four pressure points in hand. Or in deck, rather. So now we start applying to the other side. Everything's great. Whenever you change stances, gain block. Gain more block. No, I think we're fine. I'm going to get this going. That's not enough block, but we can make more. They get stronger. If we go into Wrath for 9, this will deal 14 twice. Now we're still in Wrath. But it doesn't matter. No to Flurry of Blows. I'm going to skip this elite fight. I don't need more potions than I have. I'm going to rest here. And it's this guy. Right, getting through these artifacts is going to be a problem. Do I want to change any of this yet? No. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that last one. Then start focusing on ticking these guys down. I'm going to play this. Add a smite to your hand. I know you played if this is your only attack in hand. It won't be. 
You got three damage three times enter wrath. All right, carve reality. There goes one of my pressure points. Seventeen, fourteen, twenty-one. However, eight. Eight. You need to lose two, which is annoying. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Okay. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Pressure points over here kills them both. Then I'm going to get pressure points started here because we're up against the clock on that. Twelve times two. Liquid memories. Defend plus. Right. Pressure points. Pressure points. Carve reality. Smite. 58 is so much. I hate it. Enter Divinity Stance. Deal 18 damage, add a smite. Duplicate. Do I need to duplicate? I have two smites in hand. So, 36, 36. We're okay. Choose a card in your draw pile. Play the chosen card twice and exhaust it. Exhaust. I mean, I would just play two pressure points, right? But for four energy, doesn't seem super efficient for me. I guess if other creatures on the foe side already have pressure points applied, it can trigger it to go off twice. Now I'm gonna... Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Is this better? Is this useful? We do have four energy, but we can play it if we really need to. But why would I play four energy to play one card twice when I can play four energies worth of cards in my hand? Yeah, let's go with that. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. During bosses, gain that. I'm going to take Runic Pyramid, I think. It's going to get us through marking our enemies so much faster. No new decker to finish. I don't want to fight you if I can help it. That's double elitage. So probably going to come up this left side. Okay. Can I kill either of these guys super early? 11 and 11 more and 11 more that kills you you're just doing repulsory things nice your 8 damage if the last card you played was an attack it won't be Shuffle your draw, discard pile into your draw pile and draw one. I don't think I need it. Our deck's pretty small to start with. This could be annoying to get pressure points to all stack where we need it. Let's drink this. Do five damage whenever you attack this enemy, gain two block. We're not going to attack them that often, so... If the last card played was an attack, gain energy back. So we attack once. 
We get energy back. 11. Then this will be 11 and 22 is not enough. So I have to do this to kill one of them. Then we're still going to take 15 damage. 8, 16, 24. We need to do... Well... This is just a really annoying fight for this deck construction, isn't it? You'll die if I do this. And now you're going to come back. Okay. Everything is fine. Nope. Especially not with Runic Pyramid in play. Okay, we just have to do enough damage to get him down to zero. But all of the mark will remain on him every turn. So I'm just going to clear out things I don't need from my hand. Pressure points doing great work. Can we kill him? Probably not. But he's going to kill himself after those turns. Don't need empty body plus, question mark. Lose all gold, obtain the red mask. No. Uh, give me a rest. And a question mark. Shopping. At the end of your turn, shuffle an insight into your draw pile. We could then retain those and use those to draw... The rest of our deck because our deck's so skinny although that said we could also just make our deck even skinnier get rid of the last basic strike and i'll take a power potion not sure what's going to be super useful for us in power potionville but i'll take it then in smithing Just give me more bigger pressure points. Mummified hand. Whenever you play a power, a random card in your hand costs zero. Anchor. Give us ten defense on the first turn. I am not playing eruption here. That would be slightly suicidal. Right, so... He is only taking one damage per card played for damage here. Which is fine, because we can just play these when it fits us better. Like right now. The power of keeping the cards you want in hand. Don't want this. The guy at the back is going to be a pain in the butt. 11 and 11 then I'm hoping that this, even though it won't apply the mark, will still hurt the guy on the left it did so that kills those two we just have to get through one more of those, vigilance for the extra defense then we can stick 8 behind him and doing it eight once more We'll get behind all of that shield. I thought we didn't have one in hand then for a second. Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. Let's go after the one that's going to explode first. 
Get our defenses in. Now, we can focus on the two on the right because that will whittle down the two on the left equally in turn. And make sure we don't overfill our hand. The status cards are unideal. But we're fine. Oh, it's these three again. Why am I not surprised? Right, that is plenty of defense. I'm going to try and spread this out between them fairly evenly. Evenly. So. You're going to take 11. Twice. You're going to take 16 on 19. You're going to die if I play one more. I'm going to play Bowling Bash. Nice. We are full on potions. Spin the wheel time. Our survey says. Get shivved. All right, I'm just going to rest ahead of this boss fight. But I've got high hopes. Get rid of... Both of those. And then I'm going... Uh, yeah, I'm going to duplicate this. Let's play the power potions. I should have thought about this more because we have mummified hand. At the start of your turn, gain one. Okay, there's all our potions done. Then we have to get through those pressure points. Fifteen twice, we will survive. Now we just have to outrace them damaging us. Which is looking scary. Oh, we have so much energy, though. Lefty is not doing well. That said, we're not doing great. But we are doing just fine. Beat the game with a deck containing no uncommons or rares. Ah. I had no idea I was getting that achievement, but hey, I'll take it. 1,066. Ascension mode 8 unlocked. All right, a swift half hour for now. Thank you very so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.